I'm Sarah and I'm just kind of learning about what kind of life goes on here in the river and how it all works. <laughs> Hello, I got a frog. My name's Isaac. <laughs> The students get so excited on these field trips. It's, it's hands-on. They get to touch things. They get to touch the river and touch rocks and bugs. And they get to understand how those tests relate to the health of the river, what's healthy, what's not. I'm Ian Carver. And just now we were checking what macroinvertebrates were on the bottom of the river by kicking up silt and other bugs from the rocks into these kick nets and then we strain them out, uh, pick up the bugs with tweezers and put them in little ice cube trays filled with water. <laughs> so overall, based on the habitat assessment, would you guys say that this was a, a clean part of the river or not a clean part of the river? Clean. 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 And based on the bugs that we collected, would you say the water was nice clean water or polluted water? Nice, nice. clean. Nice clean. Okay, so this part of the river is clean. And maybe we can use the cleanliness of this part of the river to set standards for other parts of this river in the same county or in the same watershed. Does that make sense? Yeah. A healthy river is important for a lot of the wildlife and for the beauty. Is our water supply. And we only have so much water in the world that we have to keep what we have healthy so we don't lose any of it. One of the kids, as the bus pulled away, told the teacher that this was the best field trip of their life. and. That's the kind of experience we want to be able to give them.